I always describe it as a process where uh, uh, information is gathered and analyzed on, for example, school inputs, processes and outcomes, uh, which could be the quality of teaching and learning or student uh, learning outcomes. Um, and that can be analyzed for both uh, teachers, classrooms or schools and on an aggregated level, even for uh, looking at district or system level quality. And that information is collected by actors and those can be both internal to the school, such as teachers, school leaders um, or uh, school boards even, uh, or it can be collected externally by school uh, inspectors or, uh, or supervisors uh, on the district level, for example. Um, and that collection of information can be done through various devices such as testing, lesson observation or document analysis. And the purpose of all that is to make informed decisions, uh, decisions on uh, which on how to improve the school, where improvement is needed, um, how uh, to uh, improve uh, teaching in the classroom or perhaps organize assessment uh, differently or uh, organize the school differently with the purpose of improving student learning outcomes. It can also inform decision making on the system level, such as where national governments of education use that level, uh, that ag aggregated information from schools to decide on where resources need to be allocated um, and it can also inform parental school choice, such as when uh, inspectors of education publish uh, reports on school quality and parents use that information to decide on a school for their children. So a very broad term um, that captures various types of evaluation, uh, but this framework really allows us to understand the key elements of, of what quality assurance includes. So before the pandemic, uh, we already saw a move to more emphasis on school evaluation, um, how that was included in external inspection uh, increasingly, where inspectors of education would use that information to, uh, to judge school quality. We also saw a move towards more in, uh, an improvement a role of inspectors of education, more so than control. And, and uh, an intense use of, of data in, in evaluations as well. Um, we've also seen the development of peer-to-peer -peer models where schools uh, would evaluate each other's work and where that would feed into external inspections. The conversations that we've had with in external inspectors of education is that they expect to prolong that function, particularly because schools are currently facing such challenges in um, also reducing potential um, uh, achievement gaps, um, addressing issues around inequality, um, and where a sole control function um, is just not considered uh, feasible in, in reducing those gaps. Um, and um, obviously, the, the, what we mean by support here is not that inspectors of education are providing advice to schools on how they should improve, but support should be considered uh, more broadly in terms of sharing good practice, uh, providing evaluative feedback, uh, whereas the school would decide on how to specifically use that information. So there's quite a lot of talk about building back a better system um, in response to the pandemic, where uh, good practices in schools are sustained uh, through evaluation. And some of those good practices would be where schools have actually de developed uh, high quality models of blended teaching and learning, uh, where they've also um, improved uh, what we call educational partnerships with parents, uh, home school partnerships, uh, where they've also um, kind of invested in uh, developing students' uh, executive skills where they would be able to self-regulate their learning much better. 
What we also see is that given the concerns over high inequality, potential learning loss and concerns over well-being of students, these issues cannot be addressed by schools uh, alone. Um, it requires partnerships with parents to begin with, but also with other parent, with other partners in a local context, such as those providing youth services, for example. Um, there's this great, great saying that goes, uh, it takes a village to raise a child. Um, and that really highlights the relevance of um, uh, including partnerships and evaluation as well.